Welcome back to another Blender tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple gold material procedurally in Blender. Now this blend file here is a shader ball that I made and I'm going to make it available for free in the description below so you can follow along. So go ahead to my Gumroad page and you can download this one for free and then I'm going to show you step by step how to make this result here. It's pretty easy and the results look pretty good. So let's jump into it and I hope you guys enjoy. So you're going to go ahead and once you have that set up you're going to go to your shading workspace and make sure you go into the camera view and then make sure to select the actual object and then go new to create a new material in this case we're making a gold material so i'm going to make it gold by naming it and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to go shift a search we're going to type in noise and we're going to get a noise texture we're then going to take this noise texture and we're going to plug it into the base color. And we're now going to go Z and we're going to go render. We can now see the actual render. Now one of the things we want to do is we want to go shift A, search and just get a color ramp node and place it on this cable here. And let's just increase the contrast between these two by bringing them closer. So if those two values closer, we can see more detail. Now the scale here, in this case, um, we're going to make it 12. Now depending on the scale of the object you're working on, um, you might want to change this, but make sure it's something that doesn't make it too fine. Around about here is what we're looking for. We're then going to take this um, roughness amount and we're going to drag that up and then also the detail amount like so. And now that we have that in place, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to increase our metallic value on the um, principal shader. I'm going to bring this, um, take this color input and plug it into the roughness here and then plug it, plug it out of the base color. And with the base color here, we're just going to go and make it this color right here. We're going to make it yellowish and a bit darker on the value, like so. That color right there. And then what we're going to do, we can now come over here with these sliders and we can adjust them ever so slightly till we kind of have the right roughness on our material. So we're going to go with something about here, maybe a little bit closer. And now we have a nice patina on this gold, but it's looking a little bit flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this now and we're going to go um, over here. We're going to go shift a search and let's get a bump and we're going to get a bump node. We're now going to take this color output from the color ramp and plug it into the height of this bump and we're just simply going to feed this bump down into the normal of our principled. We can now come over here and decrease the strength and depending on how pitted you want it to look you can make this higher or lower but I'm going to go with something like 0.07 and that is looking quite fantastic. At this point you have a nice gold material and you can come over here at any point and mess around with this value here. And uh, sometimes I prefer to have it a little bit darker rather than lighter. Otherwise the gold just looks too clean. The darker you make that value, the more it looks like real gold because gold oftentimes has some degree of impurity in it. So that is looking pretty good, maybe even a little bit more. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go Z and go back to solid view. And now we're gonna go render and render the image and we're going to see what this result looks like. So hopefully you guys were able to download the starter file and follow along and you should now have this result over here and hopefully you can use this gold material in some of your projects. I will be making the final result here available on my Patreon. All of that is in the description below and I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.